and uses for kings. We have the uh, king of spades, king of diamonds, king of hearts, and the king of clubs. You would ask them to check out the box, make sure the box is completely empty. The reason why is we're gonna deposit the four kings inside the box, uh, right about here. So we'll place those inside. We also need another card for this. Uh, let's use, well, everybody knows this card. They, of course, turn that card over. That's the Joker, okay? So we're gonna try something with the Joker and the kings inside the box. We'll take the Joker put on the outside of the deck. So we have the uh, Joker and the Kings. Watch. Now inside, in their hands, one card. So as you already know, I love transpositions. I love them, they're magical, they're, they're spectacular, they're amazing, they're impossible to figure out. I love that kind of stuff. But I also love the impulse change. Jack Carpenter, the creator of the impulse change, I've heard so many people get on the cafe and other places like, you know, the impulse change that Justin Miller created, I did not create the impulse change. Please stop saying I created the impulse change. I just like it a lot and I love the man. Me and Jack have had conversations about this actually. And I've thanked him many times and I've apologized that many people have said to him, you know, that, he, that I created the impulse change. I've never said that. It's never been on any of my DVDs where I've said that. Jack, you're an awesome card guy and uh, you deserve all the respect for this change. It's my favorite one hand change without question and I still use it today. I've used it now for, what, 15 years it seems like now. It's beautiful. But I came up with a variation for it for a card transpo. Um, and if you love the impulse change, Jack Carpenter and other guys coming out with a treatise on it, so it's going to be really, really good. But here's what I came up with. This trick's called Light Wave, okay? Because it happens just like, whoa. it's very quick. It's a fast thing. You're going to need a dupe for this. So I have uh, two aces, two ace of clubs, okay? I'm going to take out any four of a kind, and I'm going to get a break under the top card, which is one of the dupes, and I square the cards up. I say, for this, we're going to use the king of clubs, I just place it on the bottom, not holding a break or anything. King of diamonds, king of spades, king of hearts. The same move I'm doing for checkmate, I'm getting in position here for light wave. I turn the cards over, I lift up, and I have a break under those five cards. I spread, and as I spread, I ask them to check out the box, make sure it's empty. This does two things, just in case, I might flash a little bit there and then I can readjust. They're doing all this other stuff, so they're not even worried about that. So that's a, it's a, it's a, kind of the reason I do that more than anything. The other reason is I want them to see that there's nothing else being used except for these cards. So as they say, um, nope, everything's fine, I turn these cards over, all five, bring them up to the top, and I'm going to square them up. But as I square them up, I'm going to push with my forefinger of the left hand the four kings back onto the deck while I'm adjusting that ace on top as I square up, okay? So it should look like you've done nothing except square the cards up like so and elevate them, all right? Come here, drop, and this is, you'll remember this move from uh, the Drunken Monkey Palm, one of the effects of Transpo. Drop supposedly the four kings into the box, but really it's just that one ace and then continue to kind of shake like that. And it sounds like more than one card. As you say, okay, we'll put the four kings inside there, perfect. Hold out your hand. They hold out their hand, they're holding onto the box. I'm now gonna cut the deck. What I've done is I've now cut the kings and the ace into the center. 
I now come towards myself, I necktie the entire deck, and I pull up the ace, okay? As I push off the four kings onto the ace, I then transfer everything to the top, I lift this up, and I give this card to them. Now their job is to turn that card over because they haven't seen it yet, and we'll use this card as well. As they're looking at the card, all I'm gonna do, real quickly, I'm gonna push off the top four cards, and I'm just gonna turn them over on the side of my leg, like this. While I hold a break, that's it, okay? So once again, I've cut, and we'll use that card as well. And we're done, okay? I've done all that right now. I've got my break, they turn over that card now. Ace of clubs. I pick this card up. I'm gonna place this on top, but I don't want them to see the kings yet. So I just place this to the side and then bring this back down. So it's a nice soft moment instead of <clears throat> that. So it's here to here. Pick up all five cards. Put them in the middle of the pack. And you're gonna hide the thickness with this hand for a second. Because you'll be able to show a single card here in a minute. But for right now, you gotta hide that thickness. Push the back four cards like you're doing an impulse change. So it's about a half inch down. So I have the four kings now and I have that ace right there, okay? So once again, there's my ace, come forward and then push in, all right? Now I have a single nice card, nice single thing. Now I'm gonna do the impulse change. The impulse change is taught this way. Everybody I've ever seen do the impulse change um, that's done it the wrong way, it's always done this. They cock the card over with this hand. To show the singleness of the card, you want to cock it over with the uh, left forefinger, like so. So that's pushing over all the cards, like that. The third finger, your, middle, your ring finger, is going to cover and push against that corner of the kings at the same time, okay? Now if I was to do the regular impulse change, it would look like this. Comes up, over, and down. That's the impulse change as you shake, all right? But I'm not gonna do the regular impulse change. I'm gonna change it up a little bit here. And it looks like this. Here, up, I'm now gonna come over with cover of my hand and it's gonna look like I just rotate that card. What I'm really doing is doing the impulse change. So the moment this comes up here, so this, this finger's down here, I then cover, this comes up, I do the impulse change as I push this in and then I grab this corner of the kings, I continue pushing that card in as this is rotated around that finger and spread instantly. Okay, let's do that again. Break that down. So we're here, push in, expose view, The key to this is speeding it up a little bit. You wanna speed it up, so not that slow. <clears throat> you, want it to look, you want it to be this quick for the impulse change, that quick for that, and then immediately just come over and spread, okay? But your hand's covering it the entire time, obviously, or that would just be a stupid trick. <laughs> well, hey, watch me push cards into a deck. So it's like this to there. And it's very pretty. It's, it's a very startling moment. They're not expecting it. Uh, I originally came up with this move and I did it for one card for the impulse change, but I would do it here and then I would come up. So I would come this way and then I would rotate this way and then show that the cards changed. And then I realized that, wait a second, I'm missing a moment here. I'm missing a very visual, powerful moment. And that moment is when you can show the single card, come over, grab it, and it changes into the other cards. It's ridiculous looking. 
Now at this point, cards go off to the side or uh, a Peter's idea here, you could just show the cards, block push off, and then show the rest. Really though, if you think about it, there's really no reason to, but so don't run when no one's chasing you, but it is a good idea if you, wanna, if you really do wanna show the cards and not show that joker or that ace in the middle or whatever dupe you have, right? Those go off the side. If those are the kings, they lift up their hand. They open up the box themselves and inside the box is not the kings anymore that they just saw, but that ace they just saw a few seconds ago. So it's a really big moment for them. And that's why it's called light wave. So I hope you guys dig that. Uh, also, uh, we wanna give credit to Dave and Dave. Dave and Dave have something um, similar meaning uh, looking. Uh, there's uh, a card goes in the deck but it, it's rotated th you know, 300 and, uh, or 180 degrees this way, all the way around, changes, and then some other stuff happens. Not the same method, not the same mechanics in any way. Definitely a similar thing. If a spectator were to see it, they would think it's the same thing. They wouldn't know how to describe it. But being magicians, obviously it's not the same thing. So we definitely want to give credit to Dan and Dave. But the inspiration for this was definitely Jack Carpenter's Impulse Change. Uh, I started messing around with this out of Moses Operandi. Uh, his book back in 1980 something and um, fell in love with it cut my teeth on it so hopefully you guys really like that it's a fun 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 transpo very easy to do